Well, it's great to have you along on this Monday in the wake of record highs that were shattered across the area yet again in early March. And if you thought we made it through the winter season and you'd feel more spring like weather into March, here it is right on schedule. Downtown Toledo, some of that cloud cover that is increasing. And look at this, even at the dinner hour, 76 degrees. And I dare you to open up the windows, step outdoors, and feel the humidity levels that have been on the rise. That feels like got close to 80 degrees today. Dew points climbing through the 50s and a south southwest wind at 16 miles per hour sent all areas jumping well into the mid 70s. We told you about it last week. We said heads up. We're going to go steadily warmer through the weekend and into early next week. And here we go right around the mid to upper 70s. 75 in Finley, 73 in Defiance. A little cooler with thicker clouds toward Bryan and Hillsdale. Still, though, very mild conditions. Upper 60s showing up. So officially rewrote the record books. New uh, the previous record high was set back in 1983 on this date. 76 degrees. Today's new confirmed record high. It was just uh, right around 3.30 at 77 degrees. Now on this Monday, countdown 35 days now to the total solar eclipse. And we're going to be your resource to keep you informed about this one. We've got so much coverage on WTOL11.com and on our YouTube page, including what we did earlier today, uh, the uh, live YouTube stream where it was a Q&A where we got to answer some of your great questions. So go ahead and check that out as well. Some of the things we talked about, who's going to be in totality the longest, and remember this map all across Northwest Ohio. That eclipse center line going to come right across Northwest Ohio. Going to put some areas in totality for just shy of four minutes. We can't wait to talk more about this and hopefully uh, view a monumental event here coming up on April 8th. Rest of the evening tonight is going to stay warm and humid, but there are some storms that are developing west of us. We may get a few rumbles of thunder, but I'm not expecting severe weather for our area. They are experiencing some severe weather across northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. This this is an active tornado warning just outside of Milwaukee, north and east of Rockford. A couple severe thunderstorm warnings and again, not expecting this to impact our area, but it is a sign of the season. We are into the spring feeling season. Here's the hour by hour forecast staying very mild tonight. May briefly dip back to the mid and upper 50s. Very warm start to the morning tomorrow, close to 60 degrees. First chance of rain showers comes right around daybreak, 7 to 8 a.m. showing up initially west of Toledo. Here's the cold front that's going to bring that rain chance. That front comes through close to about early afternoon, so it may spike into the mid to upper 60s. Additional showers as that cold front comes through and a rumble of thunder uh, not out of the question. Once that front spills to the east, we do begin to turn cooler and it will be a shift in the wind direction. It is going to bring back a cooler lake breeze Wednesday and into Thursday. For your Tuesday, going to put you high right around 67. Warm and very humid feeling. Some scattered showers or a few rumbles of thunder. 67 high on Tuesday, back to about 50 or so on Wednesday. That cooler lake breeze will keep us dry Wednesday and Thursday. 47 the high on Thursday. That lake breeze picks up a bit more. Friday will start the day dry. Rain chances will return by Friday evening. Highs in the mid 50s, then turning cooler again into the weekend. Some ch shower chances is early Saturday could even linger into Saturday afternoon, depending on the speed of that system close to the mid 40s Sunday and we'll stay in the mid 40s into Monday before another jump back into the upper 50s and low 60s toward the end of that 10 day forecast. Really